<laughs> Good morning, people. It's 5.08. We got Pete and Megan with us. And I got Teresa with me from Pensacola. She's sound asleep. We're headed to Fort Pickens. Might be a little rough. I don't, I don't know if we can go out in the Gulf today. But I think we're going to head to Pensacola Bay. You're watching 30 Miles Out Kayak Fishing TV. 30 Miles Out is presented by McCain High Performance Rods. Make every cast count. Megan and Palm Beach Pete, right here. <laughs> That's not really Palm Beach Pete. That's DFW Pete. We're close enough. So we all had a heart set on BTB, but the seas were kind of rough. So we decided to go across the road and head into some of the deeper parts of Pensacola Bay, close to the pass, where there's a lot of pelagics and big offshore species that roam in this 55, 50 foot of water. What is a baby snapper, huh? I wish he was about 20 pounds bigger. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> Some good eating right there. At least we're catching something now. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, the bait lady got something. Snapper. Snapper. Uh, on the sabikis. Two of them. Jesus. Two snapper on the sabikis. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Not supposed to be. Teresa's busy over here trying to sabiki us up some bait, and she keeps catching these little snapper. But hey, where there's little snapper, there's probably big snapper. All right, I say we move spots. I need some bait, and I'm gonna give it to them, and we're gonna troll. Look at that sucker. I don't think it's gonna throw a very big weight. It's cutting the water pretty good like a knife. That's the Naval Air Station over there. Oh, there? Must be military. Yeah, that's the Naval Air Station across the way. I could see a bunch of Spanish blowing up and I was going after them. Fish on. Hey, the fish on? Fish on. on the pink wobbler. Three for a dollar. Dollar twenty at Walmart. I get these at Walmart. Three for like a dollar twenty. I get them in chartreuse and I get them in pink. And they work amazingly well for catching bait and catching Spanish and bluefish and a lot of other stuff. Oh, I came off. Dang it, all that work. Betty, you got your spoon? We saw some Spanish blowing up ahead of us. You can see them right there off the nose of my yak. They were going crazy. I was telling the guys to get ready with their spoons. There we go, here we go. Fish on. Chunk into that, you'll catch something. I was certain they were gonna hang something right here. There was fish just a blowing up everywhere. I think these were ladyfish though. Oh well, they don't wanna hit, but I tell you what, that beach is looking nice. And I think I wanna get wet and cool down for just a moment, geez. Oh wow. Fish shooting around everywhere. It's nice to be able to just pull up and take a break for the moment. I don't know if y'all see me wear that Anatech stuff, but that hoodie, that shirt with the hoodie, I like to jump in the water and get it wet. It really helps keep me cool. These guys wanted to take a little break and work on walking the dog, so we did a little bit of walking the dog, cooled down, got something to eat and drink, and then we headed back out and started chasing the Spanish again. Dolphin watch. I'm watching the dolphin watch. He 
You blew up on it? There was a small pot of dolphins they were all watching and talking about over there and dolphins went down so they moved on. Back to the feeding frenzy. They keep whacking it and then wham, fish on. Dropping these Spanish in the bottom of the boat as quick as I can to stay on the school and catch as many as I can because they wanted to keep some Spanish fillets. Holy smokes! Oh my god. Oh, it's another one. They're still right here though. always count on, oh I just flung him over the boat. I was about to say you can always count on Spanish for a lot of hot action when there's nothing else going on. We are in the bay but we are so close to the pass into the Gulf. Yeah, Spanish crazy, really love this spot. Here they come. Notice I'm keeping it moving really fast. Spanish like fast moving small flashy baits. Some running and gunning, huh? Yeah, they they blow up, they blow up over here. You got to run over there and throw to them. They go down. They blow up over there. You got to run to them and go down. That's what I was talking about. All the running and gunning. You do have to chase Spanish. Look at here, Megan's got one. She threw and threw and threw, and she was getting hits. And she finally connected. It's always fun to see somebody catch stuff they haven't caught before. Hey, I'd like to thank Megan and Pete for hanging out with me today. We had a blast fishing in the pass. Spanish mackerel were hot. We never did find the snapper like we wanted, but we still had fun. You know, I'm not sure what kind of ship this was. I'm sure it's military. If you know, comment below. Come on, military guys, tell me. Navy guys, what is that? I can tell you this, they were training. They would go into the little port area and they'd come back out through the pass. They'd go back, come back, go back. It's like they were letting everybody have a turn. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching 30 Miles Out. We had a blast today, and we'll see y'all next time. Same fishing time, same fishing channel. What? <laughs>